93.3 KAPA Hilokau, 99.1 KAGB Waimea Kona, Kapa, Hawaiian FM. FM 100.3 99.1 online at kapparadio.com another edition of the Kappa Cafe yep brought to you by our friends at Hawaiian ukulele and guitar and our friends at Choice Smart Supermarket let's get him on the phone our special guest Mr. Kalani Pea Aloha Hui. Aloha kakahiaka Aloha kakahiaka Aloha <laughs> 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 Pehea Ekehoa my kai hao mau ya o lua. Oh, hao no mau ya o ike kahi. Oh, handsome man and funny <laughs> and we, we, and beauty. We, we've, yeah. been, we've been missing you, oh purple one. <laughs> oh, I miss you guys tremendously. How's, how's Maui been for you? I know Maui, uh, Maui is um, no ka oi no ho i, but mm-hmm. they got it no ka oi kela kela. Yeah. 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 Maui is amazing. Maui is my kai. Maui is my kai. They're good to Alan and I. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, the, I say, I say, Kamehameha e kahi brought peace and legacy. They said, oh, oh, no, no. Kamehameha e kahi just slaughtered all of us now. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, so Maui has a different perspective. And Nakoha has a different perspective. Hila have a different perspective. Raja, Raja. Oh. oh, Kaleri, thank you for joining us on the Kappa Cafe. Now, we have uh, been, te- it's kind of teasing everybody all week long about this new uh, release. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm excited. I'm really excited that uh, after 10 months of hard work and sweat and tears and cultural insight and research and, mm. and pull it, pull it to a kua and mm-hmm. pull it to the auma kua for guidance. And mm-hmm. um, I, I wanted to create this debut album to define it really defines who I am as mm-hmm. a Kanaka, a, mm-hmm. as a person. Uh, the characteristics of Kalani Pea is through the mele shown here. E valea, um, valea means to be exuberant, mm-hmm. to be elated, to be happy, to mm-hmm. be content, like all of us. Yeah, all three mm-hmm. of us are happy. Mm-hmm. Like, we're doing mm-hmm. that to live. That's her goal is to be happy. Mm-hmm. Like what Beyonce says, she, all, her goal is to be happy. So e valea is is... Valea means to be exuberant, to come together like Manu Oivi and um, Manu Alala and just chirp and, and enjoy each other's company. Mm. So I wanted to create mele of happiness um, that's based on our Lahui, our people, that is based on perpetuating Hawaiian language, that is based on our movement together and enlightening each other and having fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Fun. What was the, uh, what was the um, mele process as far as um, figuring out what you were going to put on the album? Cause, uh, you know, I... I visited these special places and, and, and I've had a really close relationship with Kaleo Simeone as well as uh, Devin Camelo of Forest. And I decided, you know, I have so many mele I've composed myself, but I wanted to feature them and and come up with my music and melodies to these beautiful mele because mm-hmm. I visited these places. But these places, these Vahipan have a special place in our hearts. Whether you and I have been there, whether we've taken pictures of that area, whether we've taken our students to teach about these Vahipana. Um, I wanted to specifically choose certain mele and certain ballads and certain upbeat or legato music, according mm-hmm. to my producer, Dave Tussero. He goes, <laughs> Hana Leiko Pilimo is legato. See, you must work on the breathing. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, never heard of Legato since 2001. But yeah, it, 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 the, the the tune and the melody fits perfectly with the sound uh, with the lyrics of the song. I I did my best to do that mm-hmm. because I wanted to define the special place and and put a, and paint a picture 
That's what I wanted. Yeah. You know, Kalani, with with with, with you saying that and, and really talking about Vahipana and bringing life to to this wonderful art piece that you um, have created, Evania. Let's take it back a little bit for those that maybe are here or are going to hear you sing for the first time. Kalani Pea originally comes from where? Where is your Oneha now? I come from the symphony and orchestra of um, Cokie Frog. <laughs> um, I'm joking. Um, the beauty, lush, lupa lupa aina, pana eva, hiva hawaii, mm, yeah. five acres, guava farms, you know, throw guavas at each other, mm-hmm. live in the humidity, being in the capital of Mary Monarch. I am born and raised in Hilo. First started as Chaza Ara. You guys, I've known you guys for many, many years. <laughs> um, in the karaoke theme, of, you know, and, and going back to talking about the wonderful melek that was composed of Maluaka Aniku Dali Ahi Ahi. Prior to that, singing was a passion, you know, mm-hmm. starting at four, um, having a speech impediment, um, not being able to, to speak like this. Mm-hmm. My mom thought, I love you, mom. I love my mama and my dad and mm. for the values, but mm-hmm. more so they sat with me and said, speech speech therapy is not going to work. I'm going to put you through music. Maybe music is going to help. And and after putting on, an, again, an Aladdin outfit, I'm standing on a magic part of the museum, <laughs> a whole new world at age five or seven, in front of a bullseye in Pua and Nicole, and you sing me that, a whole new world, and I am who I am today, you know? Um, <laughs> Do you still have that magic to- carpet, my friend? <laughs> Yes, I have it somewhere in storage. I don't know where it is. Maybe storage in Colorado somewhere. But you know what? It's the values and teachings of Michael Pona and my parents that instilled in me. And therefore, you guys have that wonderful values, family values. It means a lot to me. And I think through values, we can tell our stories. Through stories, we can we can share it through music. You know, one of the ma- major things after listening to your um, to this new release, the CD, um, mm-hmm. there's an appreciation of Kalani Pea as Kalani Pea. And when I, I we listened to it separately, Jazz and I, I listened to it in my car. He listened to it at the studio. And then when we got home last night, we were talking about it. And I said, and before he could say anything, I said, you know what I appreciate the most is that this is Kalani Pea. Sometimes you get music and it sounds like somebody else or it's kind of yeah. sounds like this or it kind of reminds me of this person and this artist. This is you. And oh, oh yeah. And, and I, here's I, another I, thing too. You 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 have this um and for those that are listening, you are a Navajo or Kalani Opu'u graduate. You've come through the Hawaiian language immersion program schooling. So yeah. it is different when you have a, a Hawaiian speaker singing R&B. You ha- it's different. Yeah. Because, okay, so you are absolutely polole, polole oe kaea me, me jazz, polole olua. I am, I, I walked into the city 10 months ago, I was like literally kind of nervous. And yeah. I know how yeah. of a high profile producer is, uh, is they twist around it. So he goes, are you, what kind of Hawaiian singer are you? I'm like, I'm Hawaiian, that's, oh, that's for sure. Uh, but I, I am not going to just do traditional just traditional, I want right. to do a variety of contemporary yes. because with my riffs and with my style, this is who I am. Mm-hmm. I, I love to do R&B and contemporary. I love to include ballads or classical style with piano accompanied yeah. by wonderful ho'o, apo, ibalaniko, apo, and more so, I talked to Kamoko, Lindsay, I said, Kamoko, you know my style. You knew me since brown bag days, boys to men, singing. Yeah, you're the karaoke king slash queen. Whatever. But you know, I said, I said, okay, you represent in Honoka'ahai, I represent in Avihi slash Hilo, but you know my style, Kamoko. Mm-hmm. This is how I want to acknowledge mm-hmm. Kayapuni and Puna mm-hmm. Leo and Akini yeah. uh, uh, and our Lahui as we move together. We, mm-hmm. we are moving in this millennia. We are moving and, and, and having intellectual conversations about about our our society, about our, our language and lifestyle. So I wanted that upbeat song. I wanted yeah. that. And go, you know what? I got you. I got you since Brown Bag. So yeah, that's... <laughs> You know, but yeah, you reminded brown bags, and I was like, "That's who I am." I I love falsetto, I love classical, I love opera. I was trained to sing opera, but 
this is me. I wanted yeah. to sing it with uh, and 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 the song Always and Forever oh. and You Are So Beautiful mm-hmm. are my favorite covers. Mm-hmm. And I I thought Dave Tuzeron was going to give me a little insight about oh, okay, is it this the focus? But he accompanied. He he was like, this is my jam. If you have Olala Hawaii, this is who you are, <laughs> Do so, it, <laughs> do it, brother. Just. Do it. Yeah, you yeah. know, and that's what it. That's what's beautiful, Karani, is that you can tell that it's purely you, and and I think that's. I was trying. I was like, I can't. I can't express it. I can't express it because it's it's you. And coming to what you were saying about Enakini, Enakini, I love that that beat thing going on. Talk about 2016, babes. Come on, let's hit oh, it. I, I know, love I, it. I, my dad <laughs> sent me. I, he didn't hear the whole album yet, but my dad goes. You saw me with my bow tie on and, and ties. I love to wear that. Look at, I saw you too jazzy. I was like, oh, the San Francisco boy, you dress up as well. I love it. And I go, and my dad goes, you know, you millennial um, singers, you guys are just a little different from us baby boomers. But I appreciate the music and sound. I was like, dad. Thank you. Mahalo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tod, I love I love your dad. I love your mom. And they, mahalo to good parenting. And, of course, this wonderful creation that's birthing forth the, the release date, Kalani, because we're going to, of course, highlight some of this music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, oh. what, what would you, we're going to give the Purple One his choice. What would you like to, to debut the world with today, my friend? You know, if we can get back to our um, our roots, I would love to do Hele Aloha no Hilo to acknowledge the people of Moku Okea. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> online at kappa radio.com and with our kappa cafe special guest today 